Welcome fellow recovering traditionalists to episode 159, The Number Strings Queens. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Before we get into the episode, this week's positivity comes from the Facebook comments about the virtual math summit. Now this episode is not about the summit because by the time this comes out, the summit is already over. So Diane said, this is my third or fourth year. I have learned so much. Can't wait to see what this year brings. Well, by the time this is released, Diane, I hope that you learn something or more some things from this year's summit. I love to hear that you keep coming back to the summit and that you are learning every time. This is actually our eighth year of doing the summit. So if any of you out there listening are interested in watching any of the past eight years of summits, they are all inside the Build Math Minds PD site. You can become a member or just find out more about the site at buildmathminds.com slash BMM. That's for Build Math Minds. That site is full of PD videos and resources that we create for our members. Now, most of the videos inside the Build Math Minds PD site are created by curating the research and information out there about how students learn mathematics in the early grades. One of my favorite people to learn from has been Kathy Fosno. Her book series, Young Mathematicians at Work, completely changed so much of my thinking about how we set up the classroom to allow our students to experience mathematics. One of the books is right over there, over my shoulder. I can't see exactly where it's pointing, but I know it's right over there. Her curriculum resource, Context for Learning Mathematics, is still one of my favorites. And inside of that was my first exposure to number strings, but she called them mini lessons. And here's just one of the books here, Addition and Subtraction Mini Lessons. This was one of the first in introductions to number strings that I ever got. I've since gotten to meet and work with Kathy and I always come away with any time spent with her realizing, I don't know what I think I know, <laughs> but coming away learning more. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically I realize I misunderstood something or didn't fully understand, but she clarifies it and then makes me understand it better. Simply put, I love any time I can spend in her presence because I know I'm going to learn a ton. So when I saw an opportunity to spend an entire day learning from her, I got excited. And it's not only with Kathy, but also Pam Harris. So I immediately went to my calendar to see if I could make it work. Now, I am not getting paid to share this with you. I just wanna tell you about this amazing opportunity to learn from the queens of number strings, or as Pam Harris would call them, problem strings. Number strings or problem strings are a series of related visuals or problems that you show your students one at a time and you spend time discussing how they relate to each other. Well, that's kind of a simplified version of what they are anyways. Kathy Fosno and Pam Harris are doing a full one day workshop in New London, Connecticut on June 27th, all about problem strings. And I personally can't wait to attend. I've even getting a couple of my mathy friends to come with me. So on the show notes page, I'm gonna link up the details for that workshop so that if you're interested, you can come join Kathy, Pam, myself, and everybody else that's going to be there. Just go to buildmathminds.com slash 159, that's the show notes page, to get all the details, and hopefully I will see you there. These two really are the queens of problem strings, and if you don't know about these two books, this one's Kathy's The Mini Lessons and Pam Harris's books. This is just one of hers about the lessons and activities to build powerful numeracy. You've got to get them. And if you already know about these books and you're looking to kind of go even more in depth, I think the workshop would be fabulous for you. 
So until next week, my fellow recovering traditionalists, keep building math minds.